Hey guys, what's up? So, um, I just finished copying all of the folders from my iPod into this iTunes backup folder. Uh, it took actually about an hour and a half, even though it said it would take 58 minutes, but whatever. Um, so I just, I was, while in that time, I was reviewing my, uh, footage from the last part of this video, and I just want to be more clear. Uh, how I did all that control alt delete stuff, going into the processes tab and ending it, only do that if, um, if you can't get into your iPod when you click on computer or my computer. If you can't, if your iPod doesn't show up, but you know it's plugged in, that's the only time you do that. If it's not, just forget all that control delete stuff and just go right to uh, showing hidden files and folders and copying everything into your iTunes backup folder. Anyway, with that set aside, let's start up by opening up this iTunes backup folder. And you'll see all the folders are in here. Now, notice how they're still shaded. See this little, uh, my mouse is directly over it. All the folders are a lighter color than like up here. That means they're shaded. Uh, I mean, they're shaded. That means that they're hidden. So you want to select them all again, drag the box, just say 50 items, this number plus one, F49 plus one. Now right click on any of them and then click properties. And now you'll see this properties. Just click on the general tab, make sure in general. And see how it says hidden? You just want to uncheck hidden. So now they're not hidden files. Uh, apply changes to the selected items, subfolders, and files. Click OK. And let that load. It'll just... And there we go. Now see how they just changed colors, this little folder? That means they're not hidden anymore. Now, the reason this is important is because iTunes won't be able to read the files uh, if they're hidden, even though you can view them. Now, uh, if you want to stop viewing hidden files... Uh, you can go to Organize, Folder, and Search Options, View, Do Not Show Hidden Files and Folders. So now you're not showing the hidden files and folders, and, but you can still see these because we just uh, changed their file type to Unhidden. Uh, so yeah, if, just in case you're afraid to like mess up your computer, uh, you can just undo showing hidden files and folders, bring it back to normal, but once again, these, are, these aren't hidden anymore, so you, you can do that or not, it doesn't really matter. Anyway, so... Um, what we're going to do is we're going to open up iTunes real quick. i just got to wait for that to load. Uh, okay, there we go. Let me make this bigger. Don't transfer. Yeah, my iPod's still plugged in. You can unplug your iPod, by the way. It doesn't really matter. Once you have that little iTunes backup folder made, it doesn't matter. So uh, you want to go to Edit, Preferences. Click on the Advanced tab right here. And now, see this location? This is important. Now, you want to go into this location. So you can either follow it step by step, go to C, Users, Your Username, Music, iTunes, iTunes Media, whatever. Uh, you have to find this. It's different for every computer. But what you can also do is you can select it all, right-click, copy. Then you can just click OK. And now you can just close out of iTunes, actually. And now what you want to do is uh, just open up any folder. You can just start at your computer. And uh, if you're on XP, uh, you don't have to do this XP. You can just simply delete everything up here and copy and paste it. But if you're on uh, Vista 7, just double click on the computer sign right here. And what it'll let you do is it'll let you have uh, kind of like delete this and paste it in there. And it will take you directly to that folder, just like that. So you don't have to go through clicking on users and clicking on Peter, then finding the music folder, then the iTunes folder, and etc. And now you can just simply move this iTunes backup folder into here, hold down the left click on iTunes backup, drag it in under, the, under there. And now it is right there. So now iTunes can recognize this file. Now you want to open up iTunes again. And of course it doesn't open automatically. All right, there we go. Uh, nope, don't transfer iPod's still plugged in, but that's not necessary. Uh, and now you want to go to File. Okay, File. Add Folder to Library. Now you want to go all the way back to that location, and it's already right here. Uh, the iTunes Media, you can just simply, like this, uh, copy and paste it again. Paste, Enter, and yeah, it's right there. iTunes Backup. Just click on the folder just once, and then click Select Folder. And now we wait. Now, as you can see, 
all this stuff. It's actually starting with my podcast. I have a lot of podcasts from G4. Now, what it's doing is it's it's moving everything in. Now, I'm not sure how long this takes. Um, I'm going to assume about an hour, but I know some people have said it takes up to four hours. Some people have done it in ten minutes. You just want to leave this to rest. See, as you can see, it's adding in more podcasts. This number has been increasing a little bit. Now it's at 51. So just so you don't think I'm lying, and now it'll it'll just stop automatically. Leave it on overnight if you have to. Depends on how slow your computer is and how much stuff you have on your iPod. And that's how you do it. Now, once once this is done, this adding files is done, it'll you'll have your old iTunes folder back. Everything that was on your iTunes will be in your iTunes uh, library. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, so it'll be like you have your iTunes library back if you lost your computer or whatever. So um, if this tutorial helped you, uh, I hope you take a moment to click the subscribe button above this video or on my channel. Uh, it helps support my channel. It, it doesn't cost you anything and uh, I feel better when you do so. So uh, please subscribe. Uh, thank you for watching and until next time, goodbye.